Hey, what's up guys? Uh, in this video, I want to share with you some tips and tricks on how to speed up your mowing times uh, whenever you're on the yard. Uh, these are some things that we do here and uh, I feel like we get off our yards uh, pretty quickly and are able to do more yards during the day uh, than some companies. And as I've watched um, other companies work, um, I think that I figured out some of the reasons why we are able to finish a little bit quicker uh, than they are, okay? So hopefully this will help some of y'all out on speeding up your mowing times or, or doing more work during the day. Or heck, during the summer, you know, whenever it's so hot and you want to get off earlier, stay tuned. This is going to help you out. Okay, tip number one is going to be to edge, edge your yard first, all right? Uh, especially if you're a solo guy, edge first. And the reason being is once you edge, what you're going to do is you're going to come back with your mower. You're going to put one tire here, one tire here. Don't smash down this nice crisp edge that you've made or smash all that dirt into the concrete, especially when it's wet. It's a nightmare to get off and looks terrible. Put one tire here, one tire here, and you're going to hover and blow everything back into the yard, okay? Same thing here. When you got it, uh, all your edging <clears throat> debris kicked up on the sidewalk here, whenever you come to mow, put one tire here, one tire here, and then blow everything back into the yard. What that does is it speeds up your blowing times uh, tremendously, okay? So edge first, hover your mower, and blow everything back into the yard. Okay, tip number two is going to be kind of along the same lines, but uh, it's regarding your blowing. Uh, whenever you are mowing, guys, do not discharge stuff out in the street. That seems pretty, pretty intuitive. But I see a lot of guys as I'm out working, I see a lot of companies like their employees like discharging into the driveway. Um, and then you come by with your blower and then you're having to worry about getting it out from underneath the cars. And it just creates just so much more work with that blowy blower especially like in late february march and april at least in my market when it's super windy dude i'm telling you you can spend an extra 10 minutes at a yard just trying to get a, a big driveway and a big sidewalk blown off you know typically blowing is something that should be quick but uh, i see a, a lot of guys just taking a lot of extra time blowing because they've just put so much debris and discharge onto the driveway now look if you're not operating an ocdc an operator controlled discharge chute where you can block it uh, at least be mindful uh with with your discharge and just again you're not going to smash this line down that you've created with your edger you're going to hover your mower tire and blow everything back into the yard when you get over here keep shooting everything it's better guys to run your mowers backwards and forwards than it is to turn around and shoot stuff back into the driveway okay keep it discharged away from the driveway it will speed up your times on the yards tremendously that is tip number two okay tip number three we're still out here on the edging and stuff is that while and i know i'm gonna get hate mail for saying this but you know what i'm gonna say it anyways guys this area out by the curb you have to hit this with your string trimmer okay then up around here obviously but look i'm just gonna say it you know the best way to do it yes it is to come back here and trim all this out with your trimmer but look this was not trimmed with the trimmer and it is nice it is crispy it looks fantastic guys you can speed up if you live in an area or in a market where there's a ton of sidewalks um which which my area is just like i swear like every single neighborhood has sidewalks in it um, you can really speed up your mowing times if you have a super, super full day by not having, you know, you trim out here because you have to, your mower deck can't, ha can't hang out this far. But again, if you will put your tires here and cut this area low, as long as you have high lift blades up, it's going to pull that grass up real nice and then keep you from having to come and go all the way through here and all the way back and then all the way back around. It's just a lot of extra steps that you don't necessarily have to take. If you could cut out all of this, it's going to speed you up uh, tremendously, okay? So the net, this tip is to trim out by the curb, cut this area a little bit lower, use your high lift blades as you're discharging everything back in. You do not have to take your string trimmer and then trim all these perimeters most of the time. Okay, the next tip is whenever you are starting to string trim, you start right here, all right? I've done a video on this before on why you should start string trimming here and how to do it. I'm going to link that video because that video explains it way better than I can explain in this video. But I'm telling you, man, having a, a path that works on every single yard is so important, okay? And too many times I see guys running all over the yard without their plan. I'm telling you, man, the plan is you start in the front right corner of the yard out here on this curb, 
run all the way down. And again, I'm going to link that video here. But look, what, what, what where this stems from is that me and one other guy would finish string trimming probably about 40% quicker than any other person uh, that was working with us. Um, we always were super fast. And it just dawned on me that I, I take the absolute most efficient approach on the yard and we had people that were kind of not you know they kind of do different stuff every single yard but guys if you take the, the, the path that I've laid out in that video you cannot convince me that there is a quicker way to weed eat so check that video out on how to speed up your string trimming okay the next thing and Jamie is looking at me like I'm crazy is uh she's out there watering our plants say hey Jamie the next thing is is using a dedicated edger guys um, I, I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, we know that, but look, I see it too many times, people using string trimmers. Uh, you know, number one, with, with an edger, you're going to get a consistent quality cut with the edger. Like, there's no guessing on it, there's no messing up, like, it's going to give you consistent edge every single time. Uh, number two, it reduces your liability massively. Those edgers have flaps in the back, they, they keep it from kicking up debris. And you know, you, you turn that, that weed eater upside down and you're just flinging rocks and gravel and everything all over the place, all right? That is an easy way to put out a window or, or you know, end up, end up hurting a kid or something because you're using the trimmer like it's not supposed to be used. Just don't do it. But finally, uh, again, back to the point of this video is that the edger, you know, it is faster. Like you just get it and run and you're not having to walk backwards or do anything silly like that. Use an edger, but again, it gives you a cleaner cut and it truly is faster. Okay guys, and a bonus tip that I'm going to give you for speeding up your times whenever you're out mowing is uh, is get rid of the push mowing stuff, man. Um, you know, you've probably been debating it in the back of your mind, wondering like, okay, should I really be letting these people go? Uh, and I'm here to tell you, yes, man. Uh, the bottom line is that there's too many yards out there that don't require a push mower um, for you to be killing yourself um, with a push mower, okay? Look, this job is hard enough as it is without going out there and walking behind a mower get a stand on mower or get something that is going to allow you to make it as easy and as efficient as a possible. And I'm here to tell you, man, I'm sorry uh, if you love push mowing, but push mowing is not it, dude. Get rid of the push mowing stuff. It's slowing you down. It's causing you to be tired and less efficient throughout the day. Let me know down in the comment section if I missed anything super important uh, because I do read those and every now and then I'll run across something like, man, that's a great idea and I will implement that uh, here at my company. And heck, I'll even share it with everybody else if it's something that's really, really good. Hope everybody's having an awesome season so far, guys. Uh, if you're not working right now due to coronavirus stuff, I feel for you. I'm, I'm praying for you and hope that you're going to be okay and uh, can come through at the end of this. But my belief is that we all are going to be okay and there is light at the end of the tunnel for this. Good luck, guys.